Hello, good morning to all of you. So welcome to the YouTube channel of your Pedia here. So I am Vinay Sharma, your mentor of mechanical engineering. So as you know, the BEL has announced the vacancy of uh, vacancy of professional engineer, and there are around total 340 vacancies uh, this time. And this vacancy is comprising of around like electronic branch here, mechanical branch, as well as electrical, okay, and this CSC branch here, okay. And specifically, I am here the I am here for the mechanical branch only. So for the mechanical branch, 109 vacancies are there. Okay, and the age limit of this vacancy is around 20, 25 years. So here you can see. And in this particular video, I am going to do the previous uh, previous year paper analysis of the 2023 as well as the recent exam which has been held uh, in this year 2025 year. I am going to do the analysis of both the exams here. Okay, now so you are going to see that which which are the important subject for your this particular exam and what are the important topics which is comprising from these subjects here. So uh, now just uh, let us start here. So first of all, uh, so this is basically the, uh, so before studying the paper analysis here, let me provide you some basic here. What is the paper pattern? How many questions are going to be there? So first of all, there are around 125 questions. And uh, from 125 questions, 25 are from the non-technical part and the remaining 100 are from the technical part here. Okay. And if you talk about the non-technical part here, you can see the general aptitude is consisting of 12 questions. Along with that, the reasoning is consisting of 13 questions here. Okay, now and the remaining 100 questions are specifically of the technical portion and these are the different different subjects here you can see okay now if you just see the uh, analysis of the 2023 the large large number of questions has been asked from the machine design industrial theory of machine and the strength of material as well as the production branch here okay so these are the five important subjects which are there from the 2023 but coming back to the 2025 here you are going to see a large number of questions has been asked from the industrial portion along with that the production part okay so i can say that 20 40 percent paper has been comprised from these two subjects only along with that the most important thing is that uh, two new subjects has been asked in the 2025 exam okay the specifically the engineering drawing as well as the fm here i will tell you that which are the topics which uh, from which topic the questions has been came from these two subjects here later on but you have to make ensure that you just cover up the basics of the engineering uh, drawing as well as the fm here okay now even though fm is not so much important for you but if you know the basics here then it will be good for you because it will help you to score higher marks in the in, in this particular exam here okay now now uh, if we talk about the topics which has been asked from all of these subjects here so here i can say let let us say let us talk about the industrial engineering first here which is consisting of 21 questions 20 percent of the paper here so from the industrial engineering part here you can see the questions has been asked from the forecasting part okay now this is the important topic you are going to see second part is the quality control inventory management here okay and the next part is the inventory management supply chain management these are some of the few topics which are important from you uh, from this particular subject industrial engineering and coming back to the production engineering here large number of questions has already been asked from the metrology portion okay so if you just go through the paper you can you are going to see that the questions has been asked from the measurement part interferometer here okay different different uh, instruments here and the next portion which is being covered is the cutting tools okay uh, I, or i can say the machining part is already is already been asked in this particular subject here okay and some basic questions from the casting part is asked that which type of shrinkage is there how to calculate these shrinkages this type of just few questions is being being asked in the recent exams okay and you have to also make ensure that whenever you are preparing the preparing for this particular exam you don't have to do the detailed analysis uh, detailed uh, study of the numericals okay because 100 questions are consisting of only the theoretical parts here okay and if you see the numericals the numericals are going to be only one or two liners here for example like they can ask you that what is the value of the maximum efficiency of particular turbine or they can ask you that what is the uh, efficiency of the Carnot cycle these type of simple simple question can be asked from the thermal portion here okay if you are going for the numerical portion otherwise just make ensure that whenever you are preparing focus on the theoretical portion okay and from the theoretical part you have to focus on those uh, those topic which is not covered in the gate exam here okay because if you just if you just see in the production engineering a large number of questions are asked from the uh, casting welding or a matter forming techniques here but in this exam the large number of questions has been asked from the metrological portion specifically related to the measurement part here okay in which we have to cover up that what are the different different uh, machines okay or what are the different different instruments which are used for measuring the flatness roughness 
or I can say the angular measurement like this type of questions here. Okay. Now coming back to the next part here, strength of material. Uh, in this strength of materials, some questions has been asked from the uh, that, that shear force and bending moment diagram. Okay. Some question has been asked from the trusses here. Okay. There are two or three questions has been asked from this particular topic trusses design. Okay. Along with that, you are also going to see the question related to the bending moment BMD as well as the torsion theory. Okay, now. And coming back to the two additional topic which has been asked here, that is engineering drawing and finite element method. You are going to see that isometric, the question related to the isometric drawing, projection views as well as the 3D projections has been covered in the exams here. Okay, and one question has been already been asked from the solid modeling. And from the FEM, only the analysis part of one dimensional bodies has been there. Okay, one dimensional finite element analysis is being covered in the exam. You don't have to cover up the 2D and uh, 2D FEA analysis here. And wh what is the need of Jacobian while doing the calculations of FEM is based uh, basically asked in this particular subject. Okay, now and coming back to the engineering mechanics, if you just see a very simple question related to the Newton's laws of motion related to the free body diagram okay or the Lamy's theorem has been asked in this particular exams so make ensure that just stick to the basics okay try to cover up as much as possible uh, the theoretical portion here okay just just skip the numerical part okay you don't have to cover you don't have to go in details and uh, so these are the important topic okay which is consisting of different different subjects here and the, here you can see the number of questions which has been asked now coming back to the oh sorry just give me a second now coming back to the thermal portion here because in this exam the thermal question the thermal portion is not so much covered here but few questions has been asked from the fluid mechanics seven percent paper has been asked from the fluid mechanics 10 to 15 percent has been asked from the thermodynamics and the heat transfer here okay in the heat transfer also the question related to the convection part is asked that what is the meaning of nusel number how do you calculate the Nusselt number? What are the important dimensionless number which are involved in the free convection as well as the force convection? This type of simple, simple question has been asked in this particular uh, subject here in the heat transfer. Okay, now, so if you are having any doubt, uh, you can just drop a comment here on this particular video. Okay, related to the any topics here, if you are facing any problem. Okay, and just see one more thing I forgot to mention uh, about one subject here that is the theory of machine part also now coming back to the theory of machine although this subject is very very important from the bl point of view because in the 2023 also they have asked you about 15 percent of the exam from this particular subject only this year also they have asked you about six to seven percent of question from this particular subjects only okay and majority of the question which has been asked from this particular topic is is from the vibration part okay uh, the vibration is consisting of the free vibrations as well as the force vibration both the topics has been covered in this particular uh, subjects here okay so make ensure that you don't skip that part here and the next thing is the question related to the governor flywheel is also being asked okay now now uh, so so you can see here so we have to cover around 12 to 13 subjects we have to cover up okay 12 to 13 subject we have to cover up and the exam of this exam uh, the exam of this particular uh, notification can be held after two to three months so as you can see you have only two to three months left okay for your preparation so make ensure that just utilize this two to three months very pro uh, properly okay and just focus on first those subject which are very very important then focus on the additional other other, other subjects here and the two additional topic which has been covered initially just keep that because it is a very less chances they are going to ask you the question from this part here but if you have some time left in the end or after one month or after 1.5 month just focus on these two subjects also okay just try to practice as much as possible the simple simple question related to these subjects here we are also going to cover these two subjects here okay so you can go through that and for covering this here we have already started the module the module is going to be started from 1st of November okay in which the two technical classes as well as the non technical classes are going to be started okay uh, along with the live classes here the dedicated whatsapp group has been already been created okay you can join the dedicated whatsapp group here 
okay and the 20 percent content is going to be shared free uh, on that particular whatsapp group here okay now and the next thing one 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 more thing i am going to uh, mention you here you are going to get the google form related to this particular recruitment in the video description so if you have any doubt any query related to anything you can just fill up the google forms here okay with your query and we are going to solve your uh, we are going to sort out your query query here okay now so here this is the content which i'm going to sh uh, which i was to, which i want to share with you so just start your preparation right now because you don't have sufficient time you are only left with the two to uh, two or 2.5 month maximum okay so just don't waste your time and start as soon as possible okay and also if you want to uh, join the module here you can start the you can join our module which has been started from first round number enrollments are going on okay so that's it so thank you very much